hello welcome to everyone in this video this is the lecture number 24 uh, 23 lectures actually covered to solve the problem in this book that is the electrodynamics by dj griffith uh, in lecture actually covered uh, for the solution of this book and the rest uh, lecture actually uh, solve the uh, problem asked in the book that is the electro uh, electricity and magnetism by Vasudev goes B goes so the problem asked in this numerical problem asked in this these bo books we uh, solve and parallelly we solve this uh, problem asked in this book that is electrodynamics by DJ Griffith clear so in this video we want to discuss about 3.20 to 3.32 the previous uh, problems and the previous chapter of this book that is chapter 2 uh, totally covered chapter 3 question number 3.1 uh, to 3.19 covered and uh, in this book uh, bigos chapter 1 to 3 are covered if you want to watch the previous lecture you can go through this uh, uh description box you can get the link of this previous lecture right so let's start with this uh, session that is question number 3.20 says that the find the potential outside a charged metal sphere so this is a charged metal sphere this is outside a charged metal sphere we need to find out uh, Mm, otherwise uniform electric field zero sorry from example 3.8 of this book you got the expression of this potential at uh, at any distance r uh, and the first term is due to external field you can see here and the second term is contributed to the due to charge induced within this pair right so the total potential will be given up to this uh, this portion plus uh, due to charge of this pair because uh, this actually uh, if this is no, uh, non charged if the this charge will be initially not charged then uh, the field will be uh, the, the, the potential actually uh, will be uh, like this expression where you can see this potential consists two term first term uh, is arises due to external field and the second term uh, arises due to uh, this uh, uh, in charge induced induced uh, induced charge right so finally we got this uh, potential due to this induced charge and this electric field external electric field but when we place the charge material then there will be a additional uh, potential arises due to charge particle due to charge particle so the total potential will be the summation of this portion and that portion uh, here we take the zero at the equilateral surface of this pair this equilateral surface which is perpendicular to this electric field where we take the potential as a zero go to the next question 3.21 which says in the problem 2.25 we find the potential of a uniform charge disk uh, in this problem you can go through the previous lecture you will be get this uh, expression that is the potential on the axis of uniform charge disk is will, will be like that okay use these together um, with the fact that pl equals to 1 to evaluate the first three term of this expression so this expression will be like that uh, for r greater than r so this will be outside uh, you will be get this expression this potential will be like that now if we take this uh, uh, this condition uh, use this condition in here put the value of theta equals to 0 cos 0 is 1 and pl 1 is 1 so you will be get this expression and this is given is like that so if you compare in the both side uh, exp uh, express this in the binomial theorem and then you compare you will be get the value of b0 b1 b2 b3 etc etc and then finally putting the value you will be get the potential clear very easy process just taking this calculation clear go to the next question next por portion of this question find for inerts inside this was 
case of R greater than R that means outside. In case of inside this expression will be like that AL R to the power L PL cos theta. Here the inside is um, uh, um, break into two part that is the northern hemisphere and the southern hemisphere. For northern hemisphere the theta will be 0 to pi by 2. Here you can see this, uh, this this can be happen theta equal to 0 can be happen and finally got this expression and if you express this in this formation and then copy you will be get the value of a0 and finally get this value for in case of the southern hemisphere this will be the uh, pi by 2 to pi so at pi that is also cos pi is minus 1 though so there will be a minus 1 all to the power l and this will be equal to this uh, potential comparing both sides you will be get the value of the coefficient after putting this coefficient you will be value, getting the value of this potential so so we got the potential in case of uh, northern hemisphere in case of southern hemisphere <coughs> sorry in case of northern hemisphere and in case of southern hemisphere we got this potential expression clear go to the next question which says a spherical cell of radius r carries a uniform charge uh, sigma 0 of northern hemisphere and uh, minus sigma 0 in southern hemisphere find the potential outside the up to this expression so uh, just we uh, got uh, just see this uh, potential for inside and outside and these are related with like that here uh, here these are the uh, expression that is 0 to pi by 2 is uh, sigma 0 and pi by 2 by pi equals to minus sigma 0 that's why there is a minus and you know this relation that is p l uh, uh, we know the relation that is p l minus x equal to minus 1 whole to the power l p l x putting this value that is the minus 1 to 0 p l x putting this value you will be get this expression and finally a l will be like that for l even this will be 0 for l odd this will be like that so l equals to 0 that is even value that's why this a 0 equals to 0 and l equals to 1 uh, that is odd value in uh, uh, that mean putting this l equals to 1 you will be get this expression and finally got sigma 0 by 2 epsilon and where putting the l equals to 2 then also is 0 l equals to 3 will be like that l equals to 4 l equals to 5 l equals to 6 and so on just to do this calculation you will be get this expression putting this uh, value in this inside and uh, outside uh, okay uh, using this uh, value of a you will be get the value of b because they are related with this relation so using this relation you will be get the value of b and then put this value a and b uh, you will be get this extra potential for inside and outside okay for inside and in case of outside you will be get this potential <coughs> next portion next question uh, solve this Laplace equation of variable in cylindrical coordinates ratio having no dependence on z. Okay, make all the solution radial. Okay. So this is the Laplace equation in uh, cylindrical coordinate system. This will be the expression. Since there is no z dependency, this will be zero, and this can be solved by the separation of variable. Here is two variable that is r and phi. So, this potential taken is the product of this r function and this phi function. Okay. And so, if you take the partial derivative with respect to r, then this will be derivative and this is a constant. And if you derivative with respect to phi, then r will be constant and phi will be variable. Okay. So, these two expression, if you put this in this expression, you will be get this one and take c1 plus c2 equals to 0. I think this does not need to take this is mistake <coughs> uh, this uh, was arranged these expression are arranged in this uh, manner and taking this separation constant because this is one this portion is function of only r and this portion is function of phi so you can take this uh, as a separation constant 
so this will be taken to minus k square so this solution will be like that and the another portion will be taken here and finally we can take this uh, r equals to a r to the power n general solution putting this value you will be get this final uh, answer of this radial part so this was the uh, this was the this was the sorry this was the radial part and this was the uh, five five part right so finally we got <coughs> hence the potential will be the product of these two and if you take in in this uh, repetition you will be going to take the solution okay that is resolution uh, in case of k equals to 0 you will be get uh, this phi equals to constant because k equals to 0 so this will be equals to 0 so this becomes a constant value and then the radial part will gives you this portion so finally the total potential will be like that you can see this portion is nothing but the potential due to line charge and this is uh, due to cylinder uh, of this charge body right go to the next question find the potential outside the infinite long metal pi okay r placed at the right angle otherwise uniform electric field is zero so here the condition says v equal to zero at x equal to r and v tends to minus e zero x as very much greater than to x and the potential expression will be uh, like that here only cos phi that means k equals to 1 is present okay in the series solution we just uh, was the series solution uh, the, this type of uh, uh, this type of problem so the the series solution can be uh, as a taken only k equals to 1 because only cos phi so the potential will be like that putting the value k equals to 1 in this solution this solution means the uh, this expression like that this was the expression okay put the k equals to 1 here you will be find out this expression and sorry find out this expression like that and from 1 that is using this condition that s equals to r put this expression s equals to r and v equals to 0 so 0 equals to <coughs> this value as a no, s as a r so finally we got the value of c1 and using this equation that this equals to very much greater than r so this s equals to that and finally you will get a value of a1 then get value of c1 put this value a1 and c1 finally you get this solution and the charge density is nothing but the sigma equal to minus epsilon del V del S at S equals to R. Uh, derivative of this expression and put the value of S equals to R will be this expression. Go to the next question. Our, uh, charge density are actually given uh, where is a constant gilded operation. So, we need to find out inside outside potential. So, the potential expression for inside equals to like that because S equals to 0 ln S k minus k will be diverged. So only take this portion and outside for only they then they take this portion. So charge density will be like that. So put uh, just put this value of charge density. Uh, you will be get this expression and compare to the given value. They are signed to their five theta. So only k equals to five will be present in this expression. Comparing will be get the answer a. And if you put this value of a, fine. Uh, and the another. Uh, condition that as r equals to r these are con con continu continuous put in this continuous uh, value you will be get this expression so from here you will be get a relation between b5 and d5 so after that uh, sorry you get this relation b5 and d5 and putting this value you will be get this one so finally the potential will be like that I think clear do this mathematics and just uh, it after putting this value you will be get this answer so that's it for today we will meet in the next class as soon as possible take care thank you